Alarming accusations tonight about six Americans arrested while allegedly trying to join terror groups in Syria. Senior political reporter Scott Thuman joins us live from our Capitol Hill bureau with what's different about this recent case. Scott? Well, Maureen, uh, according to these charging documents here, we're talking about a group of young men all from Minnesota. There is a high Somali American population there, and the recruiting is effective enough that we are getting a scary admission from law enforcement tonight. We have a terror recruiting problem in Minnesota. More fears in middle America over young men leaving the country and taking up arms along the terror group ISIL. Arrests of four of the friends came in Minnesota and two who'd made it to California, where they allegedly went to pick up fake passports with plans of flying overseas from Mexico in order to evade U.S. authorities. They were not confused young men. They were not easily influenced. These are focused men who are intent on joining a terrorist organization. According to the 31-page charging document, the suspects praised terrorists on their Facebook pages, and one tweeted, the American identity is dead. Even if I get caught, I'm through with America. Burn my ID. As is often the case, prosecutors allege they were recruited, much of it online. On Capitol Hill, a concern over how to minimize that reach. Well, I think it's a very important balance to keep. The Internet has created uh, wonderful opportunities for us. At the same time, it's allowed people with very hateful, dangerous agendas. This plot broken up, FBI agents say, because one of the friends originally planning to go to Syria changed his mind, told the FBI, and then recorded the conversations. They never stop plotting another way to get to Syria to join ISIL. Now, while the FBI says, yes, these suspects were caught, they believe that others are learning new tactics and new methods for getting into Syria from those who have succeeded. And one report indicates that as many as 20 Somali Americans from Minnesota have gone to join that fight. Live on Capitol Hill tonight, Scott Thuman, ABC 7 News.